Hello YouTube. Welcome to another episode of Run Level Zero. I'm your host and it's Zero. Today is a distro review. We're going to be looking at Zorin OS Lite. Zorin OS is another distribution based off of Ubuntu and I can hear some people crying out now. Not, not another Ubuntu based distro. Well, my opinion is there's a reason why there's so many distributions based on Ubuntu. It's stable, it's user-friendly, it's easy to customize, and it has lots of support. So I say more power to them. Now it's true, I would like to see more distros out there based on other versions of Linux, more of them based on Arch or, or Debian or, or something with a rolling release. But you know what? Ubuntu is a great distribution. It's, it's an awesome operating system to, to base your work on. Now, that said, there are many, oh, many Linux distros out there that, that are just rebrandings of the same thing. They're, they're a new name, a new wallpaper, but the vast majority of, of the Ubuntu-based distributions honestly are just a rebranding of the same thing. Um, every once in a while, though, there, there is a Ubuntu-based distro that stands head and shoulders above the rest. And when I say that, a, a few come to mind. You have your Linux Mint, your Zorin OS, Linux Lite, LXLE, some of them that, that just really have a specific audience in mind, and they really just raise the bar as far as support and functionality go. Zorn OS Lite is one of those distros in my opinion. Zorn OS is of course made by the makers of Zorn OS Lite is of course made by the same guys that, that bring us Zorn OS which we'll review in a, in a future episode. Zorn OS Lite is based on El Ubuntu 13.04 and if you read the release announcement it tells you Zorn OS team uh, brought you Zorn OS 7 Lite uh, designed specifically for Windows users utilizing old or low powered hardware. Uh, it's based on El Ubuntu 13.04 and of course uses the LXDE desktop environment to provide one of the fastest and most feature-packed interfaces for low-spec machines. And let me tell you folks, they're not just bragging. They really delivered on this. We're going to take a look at the Zorn OS website, and I'll, I'll link that in the description below. Uh, from the Zorn OS home, you're going to have the, please take a moment to peruse it. Uh, take a look at the very bottom of the screen. Uh, you're going to have an opportunity to donate if you donate, it's around $10 American, uh, I believe it's 10 euro, you can get access to the Zorn OS Ultimate Edition, which is definitely worth the 10 bucks to spend, especially to uh, help support such a, a worthy cause, such a wonderful, wonderful Linux distribution. But to get Zorn OS Lite, you're going to go over to Get It, Free, and then you're going to have the opportunity to choose Zorn OS 7, which is based on uh, El Ubuntu 13.04, or you can go backwards with Zorn OS 6 Lite, which is the long-term support edition. I've installed Zorn OS 7 Lite, and that's what we're going to look at. Going into Zorn OS 7 Lite, you're just going to click on the Lite tab, and it's only available in 32-bit. Remember, we're looking at low-spec hardware is what this was designed for. One of the great things about being based on Ubuntu is the level of support that's available for Ubuntu-based distros. Even if the distro you're looking for, if you run into a problem and you can't find an answer uh, on their website, you can search the Ubuntu forms and, and probably find uh, a resolution to whatever ails you. But on this website, Zorin really gives you a lot of uh, support right off their own website. They have a nice forum. Uh, they have an IRC channel, and there is an installation how-to based right on their website. So if you have an issue, I would say start here. So let's jump right in. Let's take a look at the operating system itself. I have it installed in a virtual box. I've given it 
uh, one pro I've given it two processors to work with and two gigabytes of RAM. Boot time is typically less than a minute, though comparatively it does not boot as fast as LXLE, but still it runs us under a minute. We have a very nice, pleasing Plymouth to look at. And we're brought into the typical LXDE login screen. So we just give it our password. One thing I will say about this login screen, it remembers the last logged on user. And I know to many people it's, it's not a big deal to just click the drop down or click the username, but it's just one of those things that I find annoying. Not the most secure thing in the world, I agree, but hey, the way I think about it, if somebody's actually sitting in front of my laptop and they know enough to get in, I have more to worry about than them just seeing what the last logged on username was. So booting into the desktop, Zorn OS 7 uh, got a nice overhaul as far as looks goes. They've got a brand new wallpaper, a new an updated icon scheme. Take a look at the panel. Uh, very typical as far as a LXDE uh, distribution goes. As far as installed software, under accessories, we have an archive manager, calculator. Uh, just the, the, the usual culprits here. Nothing out of the ordinary, nothing fancy. We have a document viewer, an image viewer, a simple scanner. On internet, we have Geary Mail. The default web browser is Google Chrome, and in past that it's had Chromium, but they have actually gone with Google Chrome on this, which I like to see. We have Pigeon Internet Messenger, and here's one of Zorn's uh, proprietary uh, applications here, is the Zorn Web Browser Manager. And when we launch it, give it our sudo password, we're given the option, if you don't like Google Chrome, you can easily switch your default web browser right from this interface. You have the option of Firefox, Opera, and Midori as alternatives to Google Chrome. And if you just don't like Chrome, you can uninstall it right from this interface. Zorn really gives you a lot of control over your operating system. For Office products, you get Abbey Word for the, uh, for the text editor, the, the, uh, the word processor. Abbey Word is a lightweight word processor that sacrifices nothing for features. It's actually one of my favorite word processors. So with the idea of keeping this a light installation, a fast installation, they've really cut back. You don't have a full featured office suite, although those are available in the software center. You have a document viewer, Gary Mel again, and Osmo Personal Organizer. Under sound and video, you've, given, you've been given Audacious, a disc burner, and Gnome M Player. System tools, there's nothing really spectacular or out of the ordinary in here. You've, given, you've been given Synaptic and Software Center, which is the El Ubuntu Software Center. Which you, if you've watched my previous videos, you know I'm a fan of that. Very lightweight, very fast, and feature rich. You are given the Zorin Look Changer. We'll take a peek at this. The Zorn OS Look Changer allows you to alter the layout of your desktop. What you're given as the default and what we've been perusing so far is what they call the Windows 2000 layout. Remember, this is aimed at bringing Windows, Windows users over seamlessly and giving them a familiar environment in which they can be immersed in Linux for the first time. So by default, you're given the Windows 2000 layout. But alternatively, you can choose a Mac OS X layout. All this does is move the taskbar to the top of the screen and give you a quick launch bar at the bottom of the screen. Otherwise, it's the same layout. If you choose to change your look, you're going to have to uh, select the look you want and then log out and log back in in order to apply the changes. Zorn OS Core gives you a couple of more uh, layouts to choose from. Zorn OS Ultimate, the one you have to pay about $10 US for, gives you many more options as far as your desktop layout. It even gives you an option for active wallpaper. Again, it's worth a donation. 
Another item worth looking at under System Tools is the Zorn OS Lite Extra Software Installer. It gives you a place where you can install common packages. From here you can install Numeric for spreadsheets, you can install MT Paint, VLC, Wine, a games package, or Movidia Media Center. But again, those are all available in the Software Center as well. Under Preferences, nothing special. It's your uh, typical uh, LXDE Systems uh, or Preferences menu. If you go to Customize Look and Feel, you'll be given that there are lots of themes that are already installed. Icon themes, color schemes, you can you can adjust your color scheme however you want it to look. Window borders, you can see there, there are several that are pre-installed for you so you can really customize the look and feel. Although personally I find the default Zorin layout to be very very pleasing to the eye, very easy to work with. One of the things, if you're, if you're working in front of a computer for a very long time, you don't want a really harsh theme staring at you in the face. It'll, it'll wear on the eyes pretty quickly. I think Zorin, the Zorin team has really done a lot as far as choosing a, a scheme that, that'll be easy on you for the long term. They have a very nice icon theme. Their file manager, pull this up for you here, PC Man FM 1.1.0. It's a lightweight file manager. It gets the job done. It's not very feature rich, but it suffices for, for a low spec machine. All in all, Zorin OS 7 Lite and even Zorin OS 6 Lite, I ran it for about two weeks as my primary operating system. They really hit the nail on the head. They were aiming for a lightweight distro that would be pleasing to those coming over from Windows. And I believe that, that they really hit their mark. Now, if you're looking for a more feature-rich, out-of-the-box experience, you may want to consider something like Linux Lite or LXLE. But if you want the stability and the support of a rock solid distribution that's been around for a while that has lots of users and the the amount of information available on the web that, that a distro like that will offer you can't go wrong with Zorin OS Lite. Like I said I ran it on my desktop as my primary for about two weeks didn't have a single crash no worries whatsoever so give Zorin OS Lite a shot I think you'll like it. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Run Level Zero. I hope to be back with you soon. If you like what I have to say, if you don't like what I have to say, please subscribe, rate, comment below, leave your questions, comments, or emotional outbursts. I'll be happy to answer them as best I can. If there's another distro or application out there you would like to see me review, please give me a shout, leave me a comment, and like I said, I'll try to accommodate. Thank you.